is the president of the National Bar Association, Judge Carlos Moore. Judge, thanks so much for your time tonight. Thanks for having me. So you are head of the nation's oldest and most extensive network of black American lawyers, judges, law professors, and law students. Here's the moment. Let's take a look when Judge Jackson found out with President Biden that she was going to be the next justice on the Supreme Court. What was going through your mind today when the confirmation became official? Yeah, chills are just going down my spine as a father of a young black girl who's 11 years of age who now knows that she can go to the highest court in the land. Uh, it's just an amazing day. It's a great day, an unforgettable day. And so as the president of the National Bar Association and this nation's six to 7,000 black lawyers and judges, we were just elated and overwhelmed. And I understand that you've been invited to the White House tomorrow for the ceremony commemorating Judge Jackson's confirmation. If you have an opportunity to talk with her, what will you say? If I have that opportunity, have that opportunity I would just say simply congratulations, job well done. Thanks for being the epitome of the American dream. And Judge Jackson kickstarted her career, as you know, as a public defender, will be the first former public defender on the court. Can you talk about why having that perspective will be so important? Because the nation's highest court, the Supreme Court, speaks time and time again about constitutionality, constitutional issues dealing with uh, the criminal justice system. And we need that viewpoint on the nation's highest court. Heretofore, has been missing. And so we are pleased that someone has, that has represented criminal defendants as a public defender will now be on the nation's highest court. And you shared with us earlier that you have an 11 year old daughter yourself. I'd like to show you a photo now from Judge Jackson's confirmation hearing that many have shared and expressed how it made them emotional. That you can see Judge Jackson's daughter proudly looking on. What goes through your mind when you see this this moment? You know, for so long, uh, black women have had the burden of having a double minority. They have to deal with racism and sexism. We've long known that black men could be on the nation's highest court since Justice Thurgood Marshall. We have known since Barack Obama that a black man could become president of the United States. But now in this time that we're living in, not only can a black woman be vice president of the United States, but she can sit on the Supreme Court. This is just a special time in history and that this is a day that we would never, ever forget. And you say it's a day you would never forget. Did you feel that it was a day that would be far off? Or, or are you surprised it took this long? Or are you saying, oh, wow, I can't believe I lived to see this? It is surprising that it took 233 years before we saw this day. Uh, 115 justices and none have ever been a black woman. And so it's surprising, but we're thankful. Dr. King said it best, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. It is high time black women saw themselves represented on the nation's highest court, and we could not be more pleased. President of the National Bar Association, Judge Carlos Moore, we thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.